Hi, I'm Julie, and you're about to watch a uh, video on what interfaith means. I think it's going to make you feel like you have, you're wrapped in a warm, fuzzy blanket. Hi, I'm Julie, writer and director of the indie nerdy comedy Geek Less Punk. Some of my most popular videos are when I talk about the clobber passages, and so because of that, like, I revisited them. But I, this video is, is about um, interfaith. So, uh, yeah, someone, I, one of my clobber passages, someone, like, uh, subscribed to my channel, and then I came back, I made this, I have an English degree, I tend to use a lot of flowery language, so I wrote a, I made a very enthusiastic video about how much fun I had in Los Angeles. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I used a lot of language, uh, I don't know, that was enthusiastic, but, um, yeah. Uh, and I got two positive comments from that video, but I want to explain some things. I know it's weird, perhaps, that basically I'm predominantly attracted to women, so I'm pretty much gay, lesbian, whatever. There's some nuance, but, like, I'm pretty much gay. But I, I know it might be weird that an LGBTQ person sometimes talks about religion and spirituality because I'm also religious and spiritual, blah, 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 whatever. And I made a bunch of videos about that and the clobber passages, the Bible verses that kind of talk about homosexuality, but not really and blah, blah, blah. I know that might be weird, but, you know, I'm mainly just trying to advocate for LGBTQ people, but also, like, these days, aren't most people cool with LGBTQ people? So, you know, it's all good. Uh, but I'm a spiritual religious person and blah, blah, blah. So I, I'm very comfortable, and I grew up Baptist. I'm very comfortable using religious spiritual words because I grew up that way. I'm very comfortable using words, poet, poetic words, because I have an English degree, a Bachelor in Arts. So, but I did want to explain some things, and I'm making this video so that I can circle back to it and re... Uh, and, 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 and I can uh, point people to it whenever I say I'm interfaith. So I want to explain what interfaith is. First thing, I just made a really long video, but I did not grow up conservative Christian, not at all, and I do not identify as conservative Christian. I identify, I grew up Baptist, so my personal theology is Christianity, and you can Google, Google what that is, because <laughs> I don't, this is not a Christian channel, it just isn't. So that's what I want to say, it's not a Christian channel, but because... I'm here, of course I'm in service to straight people, of course, and straight people are allies, but I'm in service to the LGBTQ community and allies, and that's a very diverse community, very diverse. So I want to be friendly to people of different religions and faiths. So I can show you my uh, little trinket or whatever, it's a symbol of my faith, so this is just like a tiny little cross thingy. I got it out of church and I'll put it in my pocket and it just makes me feel less alone and like I have strength and that kind of thing. So that's a little symbol of my faith, la la la. Okay, but it is important for me to say, because I'm not conservative Christian, yeah, like, Christian theology works for me and I'm down, but so my theology is Christianity, but the Dalai Lama says, he says his, his, uh, his religion is kindness. And it's like, whoa, that's amazing. That's amazing. Now, the Dalai Lama is a Buddhist leader, so his religion is Buddhism. But when he says his religion is kindness, I know what he means by that. So, so spiritually speaking, yeah, my theology is Christianity. But my religion is love and joy and kindness and empathy and setting healthy boundaries. That's my religion. And my philosophy in life is more along the lines of the war of art. And also when my dad passed away, and this might be tutti frutti, but when my dad passed away, that's, he, you know, I saw his good side, um, but I also saw that he, I mean, he was an asshole. That's what I'm trying to say. So when my dad passed away, you know, I don't know if he made it to heaven. <laughs> so when my dad passed away, that's the first time I believed in like maybe purgatory or reincarnation, that kind of thing. Um, I took an Eastern religion class in college. And I guess what I'm trying to say is maybe I'm beating around the bush. What I'm trying to say is I'm super, super friendly and super respectful of other religions and faiths. And in a way, my personal theology is Christianity. However, you know, I believe that all the religions can be right at the same time. I know that that's a controversial thing to say, I guess, if any conservative Christians are watching, but I'm not a conservative Christian. I don't identify as that. So 
I feel compelled to say that absolutely I am supportive. I'm in her faith in the sense that I'm very supportive of all positive expressions of religion and spirituality, what is that, whatever that is to you. This might be a little too TV fruity, but I know when my dad died, I needed more, I guess, like feminine divinity in my life is the way I would put it. So two of my friends, one of them grew up traditionally Hindu, um, but she told me about some really cool Hindu goddesses and she told me it was okay to pray to them. Uh, like as in, I, I didn't want to appropriate someone's culture, but she's like, no, there's these really cool Hindu goddesses and like they do this and this and this. So I do have those Hindu goddesses over uh, on my altar. Um, I, I also have Jesus stuff. I, I still love Jesus. Um, you know, my sister converted to Judaism. She's super, super happy. Uh, she's a very happy Jew. <laughs> I hope that's not, uh, I don't know. I hope, I hope that's not, that's perhaps, I don't know. Okay. I hope I didn't say that in a way that was offensive or anything like that, but my sister is very happy and, and she converted to Judaism. Uh, yeah, when my dad passed away, one of my other friends who grew up uh, traditionally Buddhist, she was like, Julie, there's this really cool Buddhist goddess as well. And I got a little uh, a little figurine in Chinatown in DC and I, and I have that on my altar as well. And my friend who grew up traditionally Buddhist, she was like, no, it's cool. Like, this is what you do and this is how you, you pray to her and stuff like that. So I know that's going to freak out some conservative Christians, but my channel's not for conservative Christians. <laughs> Finally, um, I, I know this is too fruity. I'm not a conservative Christian. Don't put me in that box. I never said I was. And like I said, I still love Jesus. But uh, the other thing I want to say is I also that... I was in San Francisco one time and I was supposed to get into a movie, like a free movie, and I didn't get in. So I was like, all right, I'll go to the Castro. So I went to the Castro and there's a bookstore and I turned into the bookstore and there's Michelle T doing a book reading. And Michelle T is like a very prominent writer, uh, a really good writer, a really good writer. And she's just there in the bookshop. And it was through her and a, a mutual friend who... It was through her she wrote a book and I had another friend who liked to do, I think I'm saying it right, tarot cards. So sometimes I do tarot cards too. Um, I guess I'm mixing it up. But again, I cannot stress this enough for any Christians who are watching this and you're like, what about Jesus? I still love Jesus. <laughs> but I'm, I'm in her faith. I know that's very tutti fruity. I know it's very artsy fartsy. Whatever. I know that might freak out because, I mean... First of all, I'm gay. I'm gay, 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 or predominantly attracted to women. So that's going to freak out conservative Christians anyway. But just letting you know that also I'm in her faith. I believe and I'm supportive of all positive expressions of religion and spirituality. And that's that. It's really important to me to be kind to the LGBTQ community. That's the community I'm a part of because it's a very vulnerable community in so many different ways. I'm protective of my community. So there's a church called Grace Cathedral Church in San Francisco. And when you walk in, if you turn to your right, there's something called an interfaith chapel. And it's actually pretty big. And it's a chapel that gives honor to all the major religions of the world. And I think that's beautiful, and I think that's awesome. And it's it's a it's a Christian church, an Episcopalian church, I think, giving honor to all the major religions of the world because that's so vital and important. And the reason I say that is, let's say you have a favorite sports team, like the Oakland. I like the Oakland A's. It's okay with a sports team like the Oakland A's to be like, we're number one. We're number one because it's sports and competition in sports can be healthy, right? But it's my belief that when it comes to religion or spirituality, you can't be like, we're number one. <laughs> we're number one. Uh, that's, that's fucked up. That's fucked up and bad. You, you can't do that. You can't do that. So when it comes to religion and spirituality, you have to be like, well, this is what works for me. And I respect that your faith and religion works for you and puppies and sunshine. So that's my belief system. I know I come across very tutti fruity, whatever, artsy fartsy, whatever, but I'm not a conservative Christian. I never said I was, but I just want to explain I actually am in her faith and I do support 
I, I do support interfaith and I do support all positive expressions of religion and spirituality. Last thing I wanted to say, dot, dot, dot. I'm single and I miss sweet lady kisses <laughs> and sweet lady uh, snuggles. I'm happily single, blah, blah, blah. Talking about religion and spirituality as an LGBTQ person can be a tricky thing because I miss sweet lady kisses and sweet lady snuggles and I never talk about it on dates. I never talk about it with my friends, that kind of thing. But I, I just have to, I just, you know, it looks like on YouTube, I go with what's the most, you know, in my video on the clobber passages is, it's one of my more popular videos. So I, I guess, whatever. I just want to make sure that I am an ally to LGBTQ people and I'm just an ally to all of humanity. So I just want to explain what interfaith was and that's what I am. I'll refer back to this. Yeah, and if there's any uh, attractive women, uh, queer, bisexual, uh, what have you, women watching this, like, I, I don't, I never have to talk about religion or spirituality ever. I do talk about it on YouTube, but not, I don't have to talk about it on dates, you know what I'm saying? So I, you know, I don't want me being religious, spiritual to scare anybody away from going on a date with me. <laughs> I'm fun. I promise that I'm fun. I promise. I won't quote the Bible on the date, but that's weird. Okay, I promise. <laughs> uh, I miss sweet lady kisses. Okay, so uh, so for any straight people who watch my channel, I just want to explain. It's a tricky thing that I'm trying to do, but I'm, I'm essentially being an ally to my people, the LGBTQ people, and the allies, which is straight people. So I love everybody. If you're watching this, I love you, and I love everybody. Uh, and that's what being interfaith is, and I'm interfaith. All right. Thank you so much. Love you all. Uh, yeah. All right. Talk to you later. I'm Julie. If you want to know more about me, link below. Thanks.